Hello everyone, my name is Tokyo, and welcome to another video. Today we're going to talk about Call of Duty. Now, I'm going to go through some of the games that I have on disc, and some of the games that I have on digital. Now there will be, this is just a commentary of my top ranked games pretty much, so we're just going to start off with the old ones. Now I never played Call of Duty 1, never got to play it, don't really care. So, we're just going to start off with Call of Duty 2 on the Xbox 360. I play this game on PS2. It's made by Activision and Infinity War Trade Team for Blood, Mile, Violence, and Language. And, uh, yeah. Now, this game is pretty basic, you know. Back then on PS2, all you had was Campaign. That's all you could play. Campaign was actually pretty decent because Call of Duty uh, was actually made by Infinity Ward and Activision before Treyarch and I think I like Call of Duty too it's decent now on 360 you can play multiplayer um, that's pretty generic there was no DLC nothing it's just Call of Duty 2 and then we have for the PS2 I have the collector's edition I have Call of Duty 2 big red one which is technically like a DLC Put it on disc. It's right, teen for Blood, Mild, Language, and Violence, made by Infinity Ward. No, this one's made by Treyarch and Activision. Treyarch's first game for Call of Duty series. Here it is. This game's pretty basic. All it is is campaign and a couple of bonus features. Pretty much, it's just really all it is. And as soon as we get done with the, I had Call of Duty three. I actually liked it. I liked the campaign. It was decent. This game is technically like a DLC, but not really. It's made by Activision and Rebellion from Guitar Hero, and that is Call of Duty World War Final Fronts. Not a lot of people heard of this game. This game is pretty much like World of War, just Ray Team, for mild language and violence. This game is actually kind of fun. All it is is just a campaign. Uh, it tells a different story. You still got Roebuck, you don't got Reznov, you don't got like the M-rated, you don't have the gore, you don't have the zombies, no multiplayer. Just campaign, different story. It's like a continuation, like a spin-off kind of World of War. I liked it. Now we go for, this, this is messed up, I have another one. Uh, Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. This is a lot of people's first Call of Duty, made by Activision Infinity Ward, very mature for blood and gore, intense violence and strong language. Um, a lot of people's first games, this was not my first Call of Duty game, but this was my first M-rated Call of Duty game back a long time ago, probably around 2009. Um, this game, amazing campaign, one of the best, in my opinion, one of the best. Multiplayer is really good, it was really good, and then we have this new thing where, I'm pretty sure with this one, yeah. This one, when you complete the game, you get a little fun, uh, uh, you're on a plane, I forget what it is, High Life or something, I I'm not sure, I can't remember. COD 4, rated, if I had to rate COD 2 with, with 1 out of 10, I'd say it's a, it's a 6. COD 2 Big Red 1, the 6, World of War Final Front's a 6, and COD 4, Modern Warfare, that'd be like a, an 8 for me. It's good. Then we get into PS3. This is made by Activision and Treyarch. This is the original game. Here is Call of Duty World at War. Very mature for blood and gore, intense violence, strong language, which in reality it actually is explicit blood and gore, strong violence, and graphic language, in my term. One of the best campaigns since Call of Duty. One of the most glorious Call of Duties to date. Um, Activision Treyarch. Multiplayer was actually really fun. Uh, then they introduce zombies into this. So when you complete the campaign, you get to play zombies. Which they only had a couple maps, which were the base map, Nocturne and Toten, then DLC like Verruckt and Shinonuma and Doris, where Doris introduced power and perks. And this is how I got into zombies, was playing this, and how scary it actually was to me, because I was a kid when I played it. But out of 1 out of 10, for campaign, I'd have to say... It's about a 9 for me for campaign, and Zombies is a 10 to me. Multiplayer, about a 9. 
Now we're getting into some other games. I don't have Modern Warfare 2. I used to. I used to have all the Call of Duties. Modern Warfare 2 introduced, well, pretty much World at War and God 4 introduced quick scoping, but it became big in Modern Warfare 2 days. Mm. And I gotta say, Modern Warfare 2 is one of my favorite Call of Duties of all time. It's a 10 for me for campaign. It's a 10 for me for multiplayer. Spec Ops. I don't think Spec Ops. No, Spec Ops wasn't in. No, was it? I can't remember. I think it was like you get a verse. These like AIs and shit like that. You just keep leveling up. It's kind of like zombies in a way. You just go round after round after round. Pretty much like Spec Ops. 10, 100% for everything. Then Modern Warfare 3 came out. I'm just going to do this. Modern Warfare 3 came out after Black Ops 1. And uh, Modern Warfare 3 was a Sledgehammer game too. Because the Sledgehammer worked on it. It was also Infinity War. And I think that was the last Sledgehammer game that was actually pretty decent. It was good. It's better than Vanguard, 100%. Uh, it's not a 10 for me. The campaign was decent to me. I like the campaign. I like the multiplayer. I like the spec ops. But it wouldn't be a 10 for me. Then we got the infamous Black Ops. With a bunch of DLC made by Activision Treyarch. A continuation of World at War, which has Reznov and new characters like Mason and Woods. Uh, Ray Mature for Blood and Gore, Intense Violence, and Strong Language. And this was the second glorious game where, where the campaign is about uh, Bay of Pigs and JFK and Mason pretty accurate stuff um, multiplayer was actually really fun for the for a while when the game released um, quick scoping they didn't want quick scoping in their game and over time they just did it and it was a little harder to do um, but it wasn't very popular in this game campaign is a 10 out of 10 multiplayer uh, uh, it introduced gun game and sticks and stones and party games and the one in the chamber and all that. And you also got get to gamble, kind of. It's like cop, you get cop points, but it ain't the cop points you think of today. This one you actually earned in game, and you can use them to buy certain things. In game, you don't have to buy them. But zombies, 100% a 10. Multiplayer, about a 9. Good game. Then we get into Black Ops 2, made by Activision Shark and Havoc. It's a great mature for blood and gore, tense violence, strong language, suggestive themes, and use of drugs. Campaign. I got to finish it, and then I tried to replay it, and it said error, so I got a new copy for my PS3. I also have it on my, on my Xbox as well. Um, campaign. 10. It's a good campaign. It's in the future, but not too far into the future. 2025, which we're almost there nowadays. Multiplayer, 100% of 10. And Zombies, to me, was about a 9. It was good. It w It's still good. I don't know. It's about a 9. I love this game. Quick scoping was the best thing in that game. And these games into the future, so we're just going to talk about Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Oh, no, I think we should talk about ghosts. Nah, fuck ghosts. We're leaving it out of there. Ghosts sucked ass. Um, oh, and they also introduced like the honey badger in that too, so that's great. Um, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. I don't own the game. I used to when it came out. Day one, I bought it. And I had it for PS3, and I played it a lot. I had fun. Because the Exo Zombies were shit, in my opinion. This is just my honest opinion. Don't hate me. X the Zombies was shit. I don't like it. Multiplayer. I had fun. You know, I played it a lot. It's one of those Call of Duties that I played a lot. The campaign I never even played. And I might go back and play it. Because I've never actually played it. Skipping over. Pants Warfare. Story 14. Ah, okay. Black Ops 3 came out. It was broken at start. And then they fixed it along the way. Black Ops 3 campaign never played it and i never will i don't like the campaign i play a little bit of it it just reminded me of terminator and a shit shittier like call of duty title campaign then they have this new thing called free run and then they also had dead ops arcade 2 which was in black ops 1 originally and dead ops arcade is fun i like dead ops arcade free running was fun campaign was not multiplayer i played a shit ton of it i'm already like prestige 8 
in it. I still play it to this day. And I had a lot of fun on the multiplayer. I wouldn't have it as a 10. I'd probably have it around like an 8. The DLC was good. I liked it. Um, then you got the zombies. Zombies is a 10 right from the beginning. Nobody likes Shadows of Evil. I love Shadows of Evil. I think it's a good map. And it's a beautiful map. And it has a lot of good things to it. DLC was a fantastic. Then you got Zombies Chronicles with all the remastered maps from like World at War, Black Ops, and one map from BO2, which is Origins. And then over time, you know, it just gets boring, you know, even though the game is a 10 out of 10 for zombies and a little bit for multiplayer. But then they released on Steam and Workshop custom zombie maps, which makes it a 10 out of, it's, it's a fucking 20 at this point. Fucking amazing. That's what I think of Black Ops 3 on PC and console. And then you get into these weird ones where they're always still in the future. And then you get Infinite Warfare. I never even played the campaign. I just might. Because at this point in time with Call of Duty nowadays, I just might go back to old Call of Duties. <coughs> campaign, never even played it. Zombies was decent. I liked it a little bit. The only fun parts were like, I never even bought the DLC. I never will. Multiplayer was always fucking up and all that. It was Infinity Ward um, for you. And I just never liked Infinite Warfare. I liked it. I, I, I liked a little bit of the multiplayer. I liked a little bit of the zombies. It was decent. I'd give it a fucking six. Then we get into... Let's see, we're in 2016. 2017. What was, what was in 2017? I wonder. Uh, oh, Call of Duty World War II. Another sledgehammer title. Same people who made Advanced Warfare. World War II, in my opinion, and in my brother's opinion, World War II's campaign was actually really good. And that was the first campaign I played since Call of Duty Ghosts. And I played the fuck out of that campaign. That campaign was good. In my opinion, that is a 9 for a campaign. It was a 9. It's not as good... As you know, COD 4, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, or Black Ops, Black Ops 2, World of War. But it was good. Multiplayer, I had a lot of fun on multiplayer. And I also had a lot of angry moments on multiplayer. But the game was broken and all types of fun shit. Zombies, I hated it. I fucking hated zombies. That's where they were starting to fuck up. <coughs> oh. So, all together for that game, the campaign... Solid. Keeping out the campaign since it's out of nine. Multiplayer and zombies. They give it a six. It's decent. And then we get into this. Where there's no campaign. 2018. Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Is, to this day, still broken. But, it's not as broken as uh, Vanguard right now. And I hope they fix it. I hope they fix it. But I don't see it happening, so... Black Ops 4, no campaign. Already mad. At the time, I was already mad there's no campaign, but at the same time, I don't care. This is when they introduced um, Blackout. <clears throat> uh, all new Battle Royale. This is where they'd start doing Battle Royale and all that. Like Warzone and everything. Even though Warzone is better than Blackout. And I don't play Warzone. I just think it's better than Blackout. This is where hit markers become increasing. So, we're only talking about... I'm not talking about Blackout because I barely played it. So, to me, Blackout is more like a 3. That's just me. It's just a 3. Uh, multiplayer and Zombies. Zombies is extremely easy. It's more easier than it's ever been. It's easy. But guess what? I'd rather play Zombies on Black Ops 4 with its shitty DLC and all that. Then Call of Duty Vanguard Zombies. And Black Ops Cold War Zombies. Multiplayer? I played the fuck out of multiplayer. The DLC maps are shit. I don't like them. I hate them. I absolutely hate them. They're too big. And I, I just... I like my, you know, decent sized maps. And I also like my small maps. That's just me. Multiplayer was fun. I play this game too much. I played it too much. To the point that I already got gold. And I, I, I barely even got... Diamond or nothing. I want to work on that. I want to play this again. What is even in here? Decoys. 
<laughs> but I had a lot of fun on this game. So multiplayer, to me, that's an eight. Zombies, it's an eight. It's decent. Blackout, still three. And then Black Ops 4 2019 comes around, and then we get Modern Warfare. Still boots on the ground, just like Black Ops 4. We get that. That's refreshing. We get Modern Warfare 2019. Campaign. I still play this. My favorite mission is, what is it, Clean House or something? House Clean? I, I forget what it is. <clears throat> Modern Warfare Campaign. That is a 10. That was a good-ass campaign. Good-ass campaign. I played the fuck out of it. It's like a reboot of, like, COD 4. It was before the events of COD 4. If you haven't played it, I suggest you play it. But right now, it's a little broken. It's just a little bit broken. Because I just started playing the campaign last night. And I felt like I was playing on PC. With enhanced graphics on a shitty PC, and everything was just, the, the frame rate was too fucking low. It's just, you're just skipping. It's horrible. You can't play the campaign. It's, it's unplayable at this point. But at the time, in 2019, the campaign was solid. I mean, you had to download a shit ton of packs, which was bullshit. Multiplayer, I still play to this day. I still play it to this day. It's fun. I love it. So, to me... Multiplayer was about a 10. Campaign was a 10. Spec Ops. Eh, I barely played it. <laughs> uh, a lot of people are going to scream at me at this one. They think that Call of Duty like pretty much ended after Black Ops 2. And it did. It did. It ended after Black Ops 2. But the zombies in Black Ops 3 was great. After that, it's over. Modern Warfare was pretty much saving Call of Duty at that point. A lot of people can disagree with this one. But I agree with this one because... It kind of saved the franchise. It saved it. So, it's a 10 to me. Everything is a 10. I adored Modern Warfare. I adored it. And now, it, it just it's like, it's like a family member. It just passed away, man. It's gone. It's done. It's dead. It's fucked. And then we fast forward. We're in 2020. And then, you know, Treyarch decided to release their game. Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, and I played the fuck out of the beta, I liked the beta, I think it was good, I thought it was a solid Call of Duty, I thought it was good, I thought it was going to be the next best thing. It wasn't. The campaign, I actually had a good time, it was fucky, but I had a good time, and I think it was about a night, it wasn't good, and it wasn't bad, to me it was, it was good. Multiplayer. Yeah, multiplayer. Skill based matchmaking. And it, back when Modern Warfare released, you know, you, back then when you want to play with your friends or you just meet somebody new and you want to play the same game again, no. Nope. They took that completely away with Modern Warfare and I think that was horrible and they should never did that. Find yourself another game. They automatically find you a different game. You could be in a lobby where people are talking, and that's what you want, and you want to talk to somebody. Nope. You're going through a lobby where no one talks. Fuck it. They do that too in Black Ops Cold War. I barely had fun. I barely had fun. You know, most of the time when you're playing college, you're sitting, you're laughing, you know, you're having a good time, you know, like a past call of duty, but that's in the past now, guys. That's in the past. You'll never experience it again. I'm sorry. Black Ops Cold War, it was mostly angry. I threw shit. I got mad. I barely play it. Multiplayer to me, I mean, it's better than Vanguard. <laughs> it's better than Vanguard, so I'm giving it a fucking five. Campaign was like a six or a nine. I don't know. Zombies is better than Vanguard. I'd rather play Black Ops Cold War Zombies because it actually had potential in it. It kind of had potential, but it's not a 10, it's not a 9, it's not an 8, it's a fucking 6. And then we get into 2021. 20, New Call of Duty. Set back to World War II, you know, you got people, you, you think it would be good because you, you got so many 
people making this game. You got Activision as usual, you got Treyarch as usual, well, Treyarch in this one, Sledgehammer Games, Raven, High Moon Studios, Demonware, Havoc, Doodle, and Enox. That many people can fuck up a game. And that is Call of Duty Vanguard. You know, I regret buying this. I regret it. I got it on Black Friday for $40 and got it and pay full price. You know, I didn't pay like $60 or $70. No, I paid $40. Campaign. I never finished it because all it is is just cutscenes. You barely play it. At first, I thought it was a 10. And then you get deeper. And <laughs> it starts to become a fucking one. Multiplayer. I fucking hate it. Zombies, dog shit. Zombie is horrible. You literally do nothing. Literally do nothing. And right now it is unplayable as fuck. You can't even join a fucking lobby. In my case, I couldn't join a lobby. I sat there at the screen. Not even an hour. I sat there for probably maybe, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes and I still couldn't find a goddamn game. And when I did, people were outside of the map glitching, shooting you through rocks, shooting you from up above. Unplayable. I hate it. So my rating for this, until they fix it, it's still not going to be a 10. This bitch is a fucking one. This is the worst Call of Duty to date. Worst one. And you know what's better? And I hate to say this, but Black Ops 4 is better. Black Ops 2, 100% better. All these games are better. And I can go back to Call it 2 and play the fuck out of it. And it'd still be better. Because the past is better than the present. Even when you had friends back in the day, your past was better than your present. This game, I want to put in the shredder. Because it's literal dog shit. I mean, look at the case. Case looks good. Everything looks good. I mean, it's a good case. It looks good. But it's, it's dog shit. That's all I gotta say. So, until <clears throat> I'm done playing Treyarch games, I'm done playing Sledgehammer games because they're all shit to me. So, what I'm gonna do when the next Call of Duty comes out, next Call of Duty comes out, Infinity War, they better. I hope they make it better. And I hope they don't implicate it with. Vanguard, Modern Warfare 2019, because when you get to the loading screen of any of those games, any of three of those games, Vanguard, Modern Warfare, or Black Ops Cold War, they're all right there. <sighs> like, <laughs> what are they going to do? Add the fourth one on there? You're going to have too many shit on your screen, you won't be able to fucking see it. So, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment down below if you want some more, subscribe if you're new, or turn on my notification before you forget more. Or, I don't know. Alright, well, I love you all to death. Have a fantastic day. And if you don't agree with my opinion, just let me know in the comments which one you think is better. Peace.